Hello, comrades! Welcome back to Workers and Resources, Soviet Republic. My name, of course, is a Potato. Thank you to everyone who left a comment on the last video, letting me know what the situation was, where I've gone wrong, what more I can do to improve. I thought we would start this episode up with a uh, with a little snapshot, a little update. Uh, of the uh, of the palace construction, uh, basically where we left off at the end of the last episode. However, just thought you know we'd go over it again. Mostly, mostly we've actually delivered we've delivered a good number of resources. Um, we're kind of just waiting for a bunch of concrete, a bunch of gravel, really to be delivered. Uh, a little bit of asphalt as well. Um, I don't really anticipate. I don't really anticipate this being too much of a problem going forward. Um, I think we're getting to a stage where, uh, where we're in a pretty, we're in a pretty good place, really. We're in a pretty darn good place. Uh, the only thing that I could really do to probably further the, to further the constructive speed of the palace is perhaps to put down a couple of additional construction offices, which I may very well do uh, at some point. I may stick down some large uh, construction offices just in, uh, just in constructing grad because I feel like that would probably be of some benefit. Uh, in fact, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. I mean, we don't actually have any modded, uh, any modded offices over here. Why don't we see if we can do a little bit of terrain modification, and then we'll see if we can, uh, we'll see if we can get some. We can see if we can just, you know, maybe just a couple of large construction offices in over here. Anyway, it gives me a fantastic opportunity as well uh, to talk about what I want to accomplish over the course of this episode. Of course, in addition to sticking down a couple of extra construction offices. Uh, right. So. I, uh, I briefly talked in the last episode about how our train network, I mean, it was improved. It was improved by the big old janky bridge uh, that, we, that we put in place uh, in the last episode. However, it's not fixed quite yet. And I think that there is going to be a way that I can fix it with relative ease. So, um, so bear with me whilst I try to accomplish that over the course of this, uh, over the course of this episode. Now, all of this, all of this, all of this, all of this is, is with a view to trying to get supplies linked up from Kolgransky to Potato Grad, to Industry Grad as swiftly as we possibly can because all of the resources uh, need to be devoted to the grand, glorious construction of the palace. That's right. Okay, so this works uh, pretty much just about as well as I would like it to. Just going to try and move this just about as far across as I can. Excellent. Yeah, something like that. And can we maybe do another... Another one in here. I'm kind of looking for two. I'm kind of looking for two big construction offices. One filled with dumper trucks and specifically large, large trucks or the largest that we can. Because at the moment, we're not really utilizing the largest trucks that we have access to in our construction offices. Because all of these construction offices are actually, are actually quite old. They're actually, uh, they're actually very old. We've, we've had them basically since the, well, since the, since the start of the game, frankly. Uh, we're fine for cash, as we uh, as we usually are, as you know. How's this area looking? This area is a little bit uh, a little bit messy in and of itself. There's still quite a lot of traffic activity going on over here. Yeah, I, a lot of people were uh, were perhaps suggesting in the comments that maybe I don't know what I'm doing when it comes to one way roads. I couldn't possibly agree more, frankly. Uh, I I really don't. I really, really, really do not. Uh, am I that bothered though? No, I, I'm actually optimistic. I'm actually optimistic. There is there is a problem here. There is a, a big problem here that we've got with. I tell you what, why don't I just, you know what? Let's just uh, let's just one wayify this road. Sure. Let's one wayify this road right here. One wayify this road right here. Sure. Let's do that. And then that means that we're not going to have any. We're not going to have any sort of merging into one singular lane, which seems to be slowing down a heck of a lot of traffic. In fact. Can that be one? No. Okay. All right. Fine. So it's all. It's all. It's all two lanes. Two lanes mean double capacity. Double capacity means slightly faster transport of resources. Therefore, it should work uh, a little bit smoother. Okay. Next, what we want to do is we want to buy some trucks. I want to buy some dumpers. The biggest dumper that we have, uh, twelve tons. Twelve tons. I'm sure. Did we not have anything that was larger than a twelve ton dumper? I mean, we've got a KMZ which does sixteen tons. However, in saying that. Does uh, does a Maz truck? Do we have a Maz truck that does that does slightly more? I don't actually think that we do. Um, no, I don't think that we do have a Maz dump truck per se. I mean, even if I was to buy a dumper blueprint, actually, that is a total, total, total fabrication. We totally can. Uh, it wasn't actually 
It wasn't actually produced, it wasn't actually built past 1963, but that's still, that's still an opportunity for us. Yeah, so I'm gonna buy, I'm gonna buy that blueprint, and you know what, I'm gonna swap us right on over to, uh, to building that Maz, the Maz 530 right there. Yeah, so we're gonna see if we can try and build a couple, a couple of them. It might be a little bit late for us, but we'll, we'll give it a shot, we'll give it a shot, we'll see if we... We'll see if we can manage. We'll see if we can manage indeed. So that's going to be that's going to be that. So the dumpers are going to occupy uh, one. I'm kind of planning to fill this half with dumpers, half with uh, what are the cement, cement mixer things. So maybe we can buy some cement mixers. Do we have any cement mixers? Concrete mixers? Is there any modded cement mixers? Actually, that's a really really great question. I don't think there are any modded cement mixers that we've got installed. Uh, duh, 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 concrete mixer. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. So I think we'll just roll with the biggest one that we've got. And I plan to buy about half of this office, as I've already said. So buy concrete mixer. What's the largest capacity concrete mixer that we've got? It's the KMZ 5320. We've got capacity for 24 vehicles, I think. So we probably want about 12. We do not have capacity for 24 vehicles. We've got capacity for more than 24 vehicles. Uh, but... That's fine. Okay, that's that's great. We've got capacity for 32 vehicles. That's absolutely brilliant. Uh, and let's just plumb you into there. Excellent. And let's increase your auto find radius up a little bit. Perfect. This this construction office, this construction office is going to be responsible for steel and bricks, etc. And I want to use the brand new Maz trucks, which I have produced a couple of. I haven't produced many Maz trucks, but there we go. Anyway, you know what? This is just a, a good little... In fact, you know what? I want you to actually pick up directly from the prefab panel factory. Okay, boards as well. Uh, pick up from there. Yeah, that's it. Okay, let's not worry too much about... Let's not worry too much about that. We'll just get a couple of these Maz trucks assigned. Tell you what, I could also move across some excavators. How have we only built four mass trucks? I suppose they do take a ridiculously long time in comparison to all of the other trucks. What the heck am I doing? Okay. Right. As I say, this is kind of just a little aside to see if we can try and improve our efficiency somewhat. To improve our construction speed. There we go. Okay. I mean, I'm reasonably, reasonably okay with that. Looks like the backlog has mostly been shifted from up here to over here now, which is, I mean, somewhat irritating, to be honest, but, but that's fine, yeah, I think this is, I think this is okay, this probably needs to be a one-way, this probably needs to be a one-way road, but we don't actually have more than one crossing over the river here, so yeah, that's not good, that's not good, I mean, if anything, it just shows the, the weakness of the of the bridges that we've got around industry grad and potato grad but you know what i'm sure i'm sure the building is happening in fact i know for a fact the building is happening it's just not quite as fast as i would like it right anyway uh that's that's kind of by the by that is gonna need a little bit of work but we might address that slightly later anyway trains let's chat trains let's try it let's chat the let's chat where the heck we are okay so first of all first of all first of all first of all this is a little bit of a problem so We've got you unloading 59% of anything. I'm actually going to take that down to 49% of anything, or everything, uh, should I say. So that should basically allow the train to unload slightly less food into the, into the storage, into the storage warehouse, the warehouse storage place. Mostly because it seems, it seems like we just seem to be, we seem to be waiting too long on this on this uh on this stop here and that's not that's not good that's not good yeah so originally the idea was hey we stop here we unload a little bit of stuff we don't unload the whole wagon worth but we try our best to unload as much as we possibly can and we keep the train we keep the train in the station for as long as we possibly can but that seems to not really be working as much as it used to be Right, let's, so let's just tweak this value a little bit. Yep. Does that make any difference? No, I don't think that makes a gosh darn bit of difference. Which presents us with a slight problem. Let me see if I can store three trains 
on this area at, in this in this section of track here because we can't let the coal trains pass and that is that is not good we want to let the coal trains pass there we go okay so as long as we're able to store three trains on this section of track then i think that we will be totally fine and actually actually yeah i feel fairly content I feel fairly content in actually reversing this and then putting it back up to unload 59%. Yeah, so as long as we're able to let the coal trains pass and let the other trains sort of filter out of here, then uh, then that's totally fine. That means that we're going to be able to have a pretty consistent flow of goods. So that is a, a good amendment as far as I'm concerned to the train network. Gravel looks fine and the bridge looks fine actually on the whole. I'm reasonably happy with it. Yeah looks pretty darn good we want to get as much track as upgraded as possible as upgraded as possible as as improved as possible we want to improve as much track as possible is what i is what i want to say uh, mostly so that we can uh, mostly so that we can go up to 150 kilometers an hour and when eventually we get these kestrels built have we got any built yet? Oh, yes, indeed we do. We have our first experimental train, which can go up to 150 kilometers an hour. We're going to be shifting. We're going to be shifting goods real flipping fast. So that is uh, that is really, really, really exciting. Right. So uh, the real improvement that we can make, I think, here, the real improvement that we can make is is in this section of track right here. Now I already tweaked. I already tweaked this line right here. And thank you to everyone who made me aware that I'd missed a tiny smidgen of uh, of track in this vicinity uh, that's i mean it's it's a pain to fix because you have to delete that and then you have to replace that and then yada 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 boom that goes in there like that thank you very much so that should now improve that should now improve the route of all of the of all of the vehicles that go down towards uh, grain ski so that's basically that's basically taking care of itself wonderful that's great now, 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 now. What I want to do is roll out is roll out two additional tracks, right? I want to roll out two additional tracks. One track, one track which specifically goes to this area right here. So what I'm looking for, right? What I'm looking for is a track which supplies which supplies trains right into the heart of this processed coal pickup point. I also want an additional track for the uh, Novoya Iron Ski, right? I, I, so I basically want a bespoke track which goes from these two points all the way over to the steel mill, right? So this track, as you can see here, this one that runs past, this one that, r that runs, you know, sort of, I guess, semi-parallel to the bridge, is already, is already used exclusively by is already used exclusively by these trains. It's just this section of track down here that isn't. If that makes sense so we need to see if we can try and get that rectified pretty much pretty much immediately so here's what we're gonna do in the first instance we're going to try we're gonna try and rail out at uh, rail out rail out. <laughs> oh goodness gracious me we're gonna try and roll out a brand new track over here however this track is gonna be slightly different from the one that we have merging onto that line up there because in fact it's going to jump over it's going to jump over both of these tracks can't build you to infrastructure below. I fail to see how that could potentially be a problem. All right, well, that's fine too, I guess. Sure. All right, excellent. I had I had a route, and then suddenly I didn't have a route. Sure, that's cool too. Uh, where is that? Uh, where's a fire? Industry grads, large thingy. I mean, I think we've got a connection, right? We do indeed have a connection. Oh, stupid smoke from the cement plant. Uh, okay, where's the where's the fire engine? This is actually a very very important bit of bit of uh, bit of infrastructure. Dare I say the most important bit of infrastructure? Holy cow! Hold up. Oh, giddy ant. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Okay, we got to make a swift improvement to the railway network. Uh, not the railway network. That's not, that's very not good. That's very not good. I don't like to see, I don't like to see that progress of that fire increasing. That's not good. Uh, I think we have to take drastic action here, folks. I think we have to briefly suspend construction in order to 
magically disappear all of all of the, the, the trucks from the road and then re-enable construction. So that will lead to a slight delay. That will lead to a very, very slight delay in uh, in the construction of the palace. However, I think that that is very, very important to ensure that our key coal, the refined coal supply doesn't end up going down. Yeah, that's actually very, very important. Okay, I'm pretty glad that I ended up uh, I ended up coming across here to have a little look at the situation because otherwise we would have definitely lost that building. And if we lose this building, then all of the conveyor connections disappear and the whole thing just falls apart. I mean, this this is supplying this is supplying our cement factory, very very important. It's supplying our brick factory, very very important. Uh, it's supplying our steel mill, the most important thing that we really have here. So I mean, you know. This is this is all this is all very very real stuff very very real stuff indeed. Okay, uh, yeah. So now now everything has been resumed. It's as I say going to take a little bit of time for the game to catch up to itself, but that's fine. That's totally fine. Okay, heading back over to the other side of the map, we're going to continue with our brand new our brand new railway network. Okay, we're utilizing the fastest bridges that we possibly can. And we are unable to make this work. I'm guessing mostly because of a signal right here. Yes, I was right. I was right. Okay, so that bridge looks almost as janky as the main one. However, it doesn't really need to look that great. It just needs to... It just needs to suffice. Just needs to suffice. Anyway, so this is going to provide an exclusive connection. An exclusive connect. I've not even thought this through, have I? I've not even thought this through. This doesn't even need to be connected up here. I have absolutely not thought this through as much as I should have. Uh, yeah, why would it need to be connected? Why would it need to be connected to the big old janky bridge if it doesn't even travel across the janky bridge? This is a this is a direct connection to the steel network. I mean, potato, your your idiocy confuses even me, even me. All right, so we'll plumb in a bunch of signals. Uh, right, 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 right. So, 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 so. So this is looking good. We're going to need to get another crossing point at somewhere over here. Now, this is going to be a little bit more of a challenge to do because what I want to basically do is a connection from here to here. Yeah, and uh, and we ain't we ain't exactly. We ain't exactly super good on space at the moment in this area. And the turning circle of bridges is is notoriously large. Notoriously large, in fact. You wanna you wanna cross over here? You wanna cross over here and just help me? Help me make this work, video game? I don't think you really do, do you? You, you don't you don't like helping me. Okay. You wanna just you wanna just work. If you could just work, if you could just work, then that would that would really make my life very much easier. Right. That is going to absolutely disrupt a couple of connections. However, I think we got to we got to ditch the road in order to make that work. Also, we need to ditch that signal in order to make this work cuz signals signals have a a functionally almost infinite height when it comes to disrupting bridges, so therefore that needs to be that needs to be rectified too. Okay. So, let's go down like that. I mean, you know, we're not gonna we're not gonna win any awards for for how pretty this uh, how pretty this connection is. But I think that this is still the best case scenario for us. So yeah, okay. You, you don't you don't like this. You don't like this video game. Uh, so I'm trying to just curve it around so that we can utilize the existing sort of run up that we've got the the run up to the uh, to the parking area. I'm kind of hoping that we can have more trains parked on this run-up at some point. So, uh, so that's definitely something... That's definitely something in favor of this existing run-up that we've got. This run-up can just literally be used to store as many trains as we need to. All that we need to do, really, in order to utilize this is just disconnect... Disconnect this little bit, and, and everything should just work. Right, so let's continue... Let's continue with the bespoke track. Bear in mind, this is only the return bespoke track. We, we still need to do the, the outbound bespoke track. Which will indeed, which will indeed get done in just a second. Okay, that was a marvelously timed autosave. 
So as you can see, this is going to be for the iron trains. And this is all of the track that they're going to get to, to store trains on. As you can probably see, I have got plans. I've got plans to increase the amount of, of, uh, of trains that I actually have running directly to the uh, directly to the the industry grad steel mill and therefore I want to make sure that we future proof this as much as we possibly can right so the next stage of the track is going to be providing the return cancel this because I need to build this track under here is going to be building the return for the coal route and that is oh is this a, is this a bridge too far? It's not a bridge too far, it's just the pillars just need to be reworked. Okay, well that was slightly bad planning on my part. Hmm. You know what I'm also thinking? I'm also thinking, let's let's go let's go future proof. Let's go future proof this even more. Let's go future proof this even more. Let me build another parallel concrete railway, and then let's see if we can bridge over that. Is that possible? Or is that really a bridge too far? I mean, is it possible to, to do it with a steel truss bridge? It is possible to do it with a steel truss bridge, actually. That's kind of interesting. That's kind of interesting. So, yeah, I guess we have to utilize a steel a steel truss bridge then in this case. Uh, that doesn't need to be a steel truss bridge. Uh, a, sorry, a steel deck truss bridge is slightly more speed conscious than than this red one that we're building so that can only do 135 whereas these bits can do 140 not a huge not a huge deal but it's something anyway so this is going to form the the outbound the outbound route for the coal line which we're about to which we're about to construct you know from here right the way up to here so i mean we're just getting to the fun bit we're just about to arrive at the fun bit so this is going to be this is going to be the route to the iron area and to the steel area both very very important how much is this going to cost by the way leave your leave your comments leave your comments right down below let me know how much you think this entire this entire rail network will cost by the time that i'm done with it let me know in the comments down below Oh, if we're able to get away without moving the bridge, that is fantastic. That is really very, very good. Okay, so the next thing that we need to next thing that we need to think about is we basically need to get this track right here, all the way over to here. That's the goal. That's the goal right here. This connection, very, very important. Very, very important indeed. In fact, it might even be possible just to go direct. Is it, in fact, possible to just go directly through? this network here, this network of shenanigans. I can obviously, I can, I can destroy as many of these, as many of these pylons as I need to. I'm pretty, I'm pretty anti-destroying pylons just in general as much as I possibly can. I like to try and keep pylon destruction to a minimum. I think this is definitely going to work. I think this is absolutely going to work. Okay, so I didn't really ever think that we would be building a, a track right through the center of a of an area which I have agonized. I have agonized over and tried to, tried to build so many complicated structures in this area. However, we're going to give it a shot nonetheless. Nice. And we're going to see if we can just come over here. Yes, good. So far, so good. Very nice. Too sharp a turn. Ah, but it's close. It's close, isn't it? <laughs> okay, I have no idea how you arrive at that, but that's that's great. That's great, actually. That's really, really good. Also, I noticed that now when you make some dodgy uh, rail connections, the game doesn't always crash, which is kind of remarkable. Okay, uh, this is gonna be this is gonna be the real funky. This is gonna be the real funky bit. But I think I think that I've got a plan. Right, so here's my plan, folks. Here's my plan. We're going to go as high as we can. Well, not as high as we can. But somewhat, somewhat close to as high as I can. Yeah, fine. And then we're just going to see if we can bridge across this entire area here. So we're just going to literally try, literally try and bridge this gap. Mm. The angle's a bit off on that second piece. Yeah, the angle's a bit off on that second piece. We want to try... We want to try maybe go a little bit more direct. 
because it kind of needs to. In fact, why don't we try with a truss bridge since there are fewer pillars anyway? Is this going to be another example of... of wires being the most absolutely difficult pieces of equipment to work with? Overlaps with existing construction. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Too sharp of a turn. Overlaps with the existing construction. I mean, there was a route here. Yes, that's good. Can't build you to infrastructure below. Signals are in the way. Of course, signals... How could I forget? Signals and wires. The most challenging objects to navigate over. Can't build you to infrastructure below. I mean, if I try that first bit of bridge again without the signals. How would that work out now? Really? Okay, well that's somewhat surprising. What we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take action to make sure that the pillars are are allowed to go up, because if they're not, then we're gonna have a problem. Maybe the angle's just too sharp in general. Yeah, maybe I'm just being a little bit too ambitious with my with my bridge, I'm not being too ambitious with my bridge. My bridge works. Oh, this is good. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. Okay, just build it all out of truss bridge. Uh, yeah, continue continue along here. Let's put that signal back in. Because that seemed to be working pretty darn well. Let's see if we can stick that power cable back in as well. I think it was going over there. Sure. Uh, there, was also, there was also another bit that I needed to reconnect. Yeah, it was this road down here, wasn't it? I think there was also another signal that I need to put in somewhere, but I'm sure that as soon as the as soon as the whole network grinds to a halt, I'll be able to tell exactly where that uh, where that issue is. All right, build that because that's that's definitely something that we can do right now. All right, this doesn't count towards the total cost, by the way. This doesn't count towards the total cost of the guess that you've submitted uh, down in the comments down below. What you haven't you haven't submitted it down in the comments below because you because you never comment on my videos. What? That, I'm talking to you right now. Yes, you. Yes, you. Don't worry. I also never comment on YouTube videos, even when I watch them. But you know what? You should. Because it helps the metrics or something. I don't really I don't really know if that's a, a, a true statement, but uh, but do it. I like reading your comments. It makes me feel it makes me feel like this is a, a good little community that we've got going, and it sure as heck is a good little community that we've got going. Speaking of community, look, this is the, the brilliant opportunity for me to plug the Discord. Whereas a bunch of like-minded individuals, like myself, like strategy games, like city building type games, like management games, much like this. You know, this is... I don't think this is how they teach you to do it in uh, in search engine optimization school. You know? 20, 27, 28 minutes into a video, you know, just talk about, talk about stuff. But look, I've always prided myself on being entirely honest with you guys, and so therefore, you know what, just... Just buy my course. Buy my course. Your five steps to financial freedom. No, I am, of course, I'm joking. But seriously, do consider joining the Discord because it's great. And uh, and I'd love to have you there. Right. Speaking of. Speaking of greatness. How are we doing? I mean, to be honest, things could be going better. I'm a little bit miffed. Oh? Or am I? Or am I a little miffed? Can't build you to infrastructure below, and yet here we are. <gasps> it works. It works like an absolute dream. It works like an absolute dream. Okay. That is almost certainly not the best way to go about doing this. However, it does work. It does work, and it will it will allow us to get a direct connection. So this is just entirely for coal trains. Entirely for coal trains to get from the way back right out to there. So bear in mind, we still need to keep this access entirely free for all of the trains that are going to Industry Grad via the big, the big janky bridge and the tunnels. This what a what a colossal mess up this was. Okay, so that's that. That's a that's a good step in the right direction. Okay, brilliant. So the next, the next step, the next step is making sure that the coal line. That the coal, that the coal line. There we go. That the coal. Potato. Potato. We need to talk. We need to talk. Potato. Okay. So the coal line needs to be completely independent. 
yeah, the call line needs to be completely independent. In fact, it already is completely independent. What am I doing? I'm trying to double it up. I, there's no point. It's already completely independent from all of the other resource collections. So, okay, this is this is totally daft. I'm not thinking correctly. Anyway, what we need to do is basically just branch it off here, right? So branch it off here. By the way, you'll notice that every improvement that I'm making is uh, is accounting for the fact that the train track is still live. So it's still going to work in its existing configuration. I'm just making I'm just making a, an amendment that should hopefully make it faster uh, in order for these in order for these you know coal and iron trains. Can I get through here? If I don't have to move this bridge, that would make my life so much easier. It's possible. It's possible. I like it a lot. -y. Right. So, uh, yes, as I was saying, everything is configured to work as it as it is at the moment. However, a slight little a slight little tweak there, you know, for example, once we once we once we're happy that all of the trains are running on the route that we want them to run on, we just delete this section of track right here and then that solves that solves our whole problem and we all uh, we all go home. It's all great. Okay, same with this little bit of track here. We delete that bit of track there too. And then everything, and then everything just works. Right, so this is the last bit of track that we will need to get set up for the coal specifically. Because we're going to merge it soon with the iron. There we go. Some other, some other infrastructures in the way. Don't worry about it. Okay, and you'll now see, you'll now see folks... This is exactly why I wanted a, what is that, fourth, no, fifth parallel track underneath this bridge right here. Because this, this is the, this is the route back for coal and the route back for iron as well. Or it will be the route back for iron as well. But it's not the route back for iron quite yet. Right, so this is probably going to be our most challenging connection up here, what we're about to try and do. Right, so I need to try and bridge over these two tracks can't build you to infrastructure below okay let's let's sort what we know are the common problems that's right it's the signals if we destroy the signals and there's still nothing what else what else can we can we try and fix angle of connection is too sharp that's that's actually okay that's actually okay The angle, the angle of the turn here is is what is what worries me. However, I think we can I think we can definitely make this work. Let's uh, let's keep this up. Let's try and bring the pillar in as close as we possibly can to the bridge. In fact, maybe just I feel like the road in this in this case is is the problem. In fact, I'm almost certain that it's the road. Now the problem with demoing this road right here. So I'm not really sure where else we're going to put it. Uh, not like it's a particularly well-trodden road, but we do need to make sure that there is a connection to Novoya Ironski. Right, maybe, maybe I'm speaking at a turn here. It seems like the road wasn't the entirety of the problem, and it is, in fact, the rails. Okay, uh, if that's the case then, well, first of all, that's actually good news for us. That's actually good news. It just means that we need to approach the... It just means we need to approach the... the rails at a slightly different angle, and we should have no difficulties with this. Can't build you to infrastructure below. Again, I mean, look, that's just because we built slightly too close. Right, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. There we go. Nice and easy. All right. Brilliant. So, whilst I remember... Whilst I remember, let's see if we can try and... Hook this up. Just across there. Yeah, okay. Perfect. That was that was actually remarkably easy. Uh, yeah. Pretty, pretty happy with that. All right. Uh, let's just get that built, actually, whilst I remember. All right, what are your what are your predictions doing right now? What are your predictions doing? We've reached 2.7 million, 2.7 million in uh, in railway costs. To be honest, I'm I'm fine financially, so we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't have any problem with that at all. Shouldn't have any problem with that at all, at all, at all. Right. So 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 let's 
just merge this in over here. Uh, yeah, I think, to be honest, this is actually okay to do. So we're just going to merge this into the iron line. So it should mean that all of the output, all of the output from, all of the output from the, from the coal, uh, from the iron, from the iron, from the iron aggregate loading and the coal aggregate loading should be able to merge together. I mean, look, they need to merge together at some point. It's just whether I do it, whether I do it before or after the trains have collected their goodies. I think after they've collected their goodies is the correct place to do it. So then we're going to come down here because this little connection is going to be entirely removed. We're going to come down this way. We're going to come down this way. We're going to come down this way. And then when we get to here, when we get to here, we're going to actually want to bridge over this entire, entire bridged, already bridged area in order to get to here. And then we're going to connect the, the track up like so to over there. You with me? You with me so far? This is probably just about the most ambitious railway construction project that I have thus far attempted. And to be honest, I, I'm still absolutely shockingly astounded that it's so far, for the most part, ended up working at least to some reasonable degree. Right. I mean, look, that's fine. This is, this is overkill, but you know what they say about overkill? Overkill is underrated. And to be honest, it's not actually that overkill, because it does need to be, it does need to be quite steep. Alright. Now, you might just accuse me of bumping the figures up purely for, for entertainment purposes. I refute that allegation. I refute that allegation entirely. You had your opportunity to guess. You know that I like, you know that I like building big bridges, big janky bridges. I'm a big fan. And if you didn't realize that, hey, I got some news for you. I got some big news for you. I like big janky bridges. Uh, okay, so I think at the end of the day, that entirely brand new line, which is in fact, well, a return line as well as a, as well as a regular line, uh, that, that is... That is going to cost us about 3.4 million rubles. And can I just say that I'm delighted with it? So it's it actually travels very, very... A comparatively short distance, really. It's not actually that long at all. However, it is going to basically mean that the entirety of Novoya Ironski and the entirety of the proper coal processing area is going to be on a completely independent loop from the rest of the trains. Which is going to mean which is going to mean, very importantly, that we can increase capacity on both that section of the track, i.e. the trains that are going directly into the steel mill. What does this maybe suggest? It maybe suggests that we should look again about connecting up these three uh, these three lines right here at the, uh, at the secondary steel mill. Maybe we get steel, you know, maybe we get iron, processed iron and coal delivered directly to the secondary steel mill. That's what that says to me. It also says, hey, we can increase we can increase the number of, uh, of of coal ore trains and the number of iron ore trains that are coming into Industry Grad on any given day because we've now got more capacity on the tracks because we've got more tracks. You know, we definitely reached a point where we had far too many we had far too many trains operating on the same tracks. That is a thing of the past. This should this should keep us going for a good long time to come. I say that it's a relatively cheap amendment. It's a, it is actually a relatively cheap amendment to the track for what we're doing. You know, building trains and whatnot is is actually comparatively complicated uh, in, in comparison to what we've just done. So I, I, I'm really, really happy with this. Uh, I think it's going to work. I think it's going to work like an absolute dream. As soon as I see a couple of trains using it, in fact, I think the trains should honestly use it. I think it's just makes, it just makes more sense for them. Uh, we are going to need to do a bunch of signaling. I really haven't... Um, I really haven't signaled much at all over the course of this little uh, this little construction project. However, in saying that, I'll tell you what I can do. I can just cancel the railway right there. Yet there is no reason not to. That's immediately ready to rock and roll. That's real cool. And in fact. In fact, we can just cancel. We can just cancel this connection right here. Yeah, as you can see, look, the coal train is already is already taking the route that I want them to take. 
Cool. Very, very cool indeed. So we just cancel this little connection over there too. Excellent. Yep, excellent. 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 Yeah, just a couple of additional signals along the route here. Uh, yep, just to make sure that everything runs as smoothly as it possibly can. Yeah, that looks great. That looks really, really good. So that should be... That should be everything on the loop, really, shouldn't it? Ah. We did not build... We did not build those, uh, those power cables there, but that's totally fine. That's totally fine. So this, this is... Wow, this is a complicated, complicated setup, but I think it works. Legitimately think it works. So where are you going? You're going to load... You're going to load coal ore, okay, so that's fine, you're on the correct track. I'm just making sure that everyone is that everyone is working as they should. This is looking great. Wonderful. The next thing that we maybe want to consider is the you know, is the speed of our tracks. Because not all of it not all of it is concrete railway. The bit that I just built is concrete railway as far as I can recall. It should all be concretified. Should definitely all be concretified, but it may not be. And that's not my fault. It's entirely my fault if that's if that's not the case. Right, where are you going? You're going to load gravel, okay, so that's great. You're coming coming in the same direction. That's cool too. Yeah, that is good. I tell you what, it does actually sort of it does means that we don't need this bridge really anymore because theoretically there should be no trains that are actually traveling on this section of track right here because all of the trains that are traveling on this section of track down to the iron mill should be taking this bridge all of the trains that are going up that way should be taking this bridge so there should be no trains on this track from like here to here should all just in fact this entire section of track and then this entire section of track too yeah i, I think i'll i'll leave it there just for now but uh, but that's fine that is totally, totally fine. That's coal ore. I'm just going to keep an eye on things just to make sure it all uh, it all goes well. So you've loaded up with coal. I mean, we do have loads and loads of coal. We do have loads and loads and loads of coal. In fact, we don't really have a depot, do we? We don't. We don't have a depot. We don't have a depot that can directly link up. In fact, no, tell a lie. We do have a depot that can directly link up. We do, do, do have a, a depot that can directly link up. And in fact, let's do that. Let's see if we can get this Kestrel moved across to there. Uh, I did say that I only wanted to roll out Kestrels from now on. However, I'm, I'm looking at these five locomotives right here and I'm thinking, hey... We've got them. We can roll them out right now for a relatively small amount of cash. And it'll all work. Hmm. I might have to I might have to take another look at that. Anyway, how's the how's the palace going? How's the palace going? Not bad, not bad. We need a lot more gravel. A lot more gravel, a lot more concrete. Uh, there are issues. There are issues with traffic. There are definitely issues with traffic. Tell you what. A, a really, really simple amendment that I could probably make. I should probably make, in fact. How how likely are you to just allow me to do this video game? Probably actually fairly likely. I think. This is a reasonably simple fix. Yeah. Look at that. Okay. So I don't actually know if we're going to be able to one way -ify a bridge. However, I want to. All right, build that. Build that. Uh, yeah, let's cancel this road right there. That in there. Cool. Can I one way fire this bit of bridge? I can indeed. Excellent. Cool. Okay, so that's entirely going to be one way fired. Do I really know if this is going to make any impact on the traffic flow? No, not at all. Use the tool over finished existing roads. I mean, this is a finished and also existing road. Very, very much exists. All right. No matter. No matter. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Anyway, so that should uh, that should help with that. We should be able to just maybe improve, improve the speed of traffic uh, a little bit. We'll see if that makes any difference. No guarantees that it will. 
Yeah. Fine. Uh, I'll tell you what. Let's also see if we can try and get this upgraded too. There we go. Build you. And build that in there. Build that in there. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. So again, it just hopefully means that everything flows just that little bit smoother. It does mean that, you know, some trucks are going to have to go around the long way. They're going to have to go through the construction yard in order to get around to... Oh my giddy aunt, what the heck is happening here? This is pretty, this is pretty important. It's pretty important that we fix this up right now. Very important, in fact. Speaking of important, why don't we try? Why don't we try? Just let's, let's auto build, let's auto build some stuff. In fact, is there a higher top speed road? No, there's no higher top speed road. There is a trolley bus road, but I don't know if that's only for trolley buses, that max speed. Anyway, let's get this entire road upgraded right here. And I'm kind of hoping that if we get this entire road upgraded, then it sort of changes the, the calculation that all of the that all of the trucks do. And they'll maybe say, hey, in order for us to get to the Palace of Soviet, it's going to be a heck of a lot quicker just to go this way directly. No idea if that's necessarily the case. However... I hope that's the that's the, the calculation that's going to be done. Yeah. Okay. So this has had a negligible effect on the speed of traffic, and also at this end we've got a another traffic jam emerging. Right. So I can conclusively say that one-way roads have had a negative effect. Is too is too far. Not necessarily a positive effect. Okay. Move that. And stick that in there. Cool. Nice. Okay. Yeah, again, this is not, not optimal, but it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, it seems to it seems to be working. Seems to be working somewhat. There's a lot of a lot of traffic still happening. A lot a lot of traffic still uh, still occurring. There needs to be a more direct connection, I think, between Industry Grad and the Palace. Yeah, and it's a bit irritating that that's not a thing. Not at this moment in time. I feel like maybe a tunnel wouldn't go amiss, really, between, like, this area and this area over here. In fact, tell you what, just because, just because this is, like, a a great place to build a tunnel. Tunnel is above the terrain at some stage. I mean, I appreciate that the tunnel is above the ground at some stage, but... Would it not be a great place for a tunnel? Tell me, video game, it wouldn't be a great place for the tunnel. Oh, no, no, no. Hide from center. And also, don't auto-build using rubles. I do have enough of them, though. I am very, very good on the whole ruble front. Right, ditch that. Level height from center. And then drop this down right here. Not that low, though. There we go. Perfect. Right, then reconnect up that cabling that I oh so flippantly disregarded. In fact, you know what? Don't do not do that quite yet until I've done the tunnel, or at least tried to do the tunnel. I still think that this is probably a probably a bad idea. As why the heck would it work? So it will work over there. That's nice. Building in the way overlaps with existing construction. Yeah, it's just too much of a it's too much of a problematic area to build through, which is a little bit of a disappointment because the tunnel mechanics in this game do leave a lot to be desired. They are they are pretty terrible, really, in terms of in terms of how they operate. So all of my traffic that is coming from this coming from this area is going across the bridge here, which is just utterly horrific. So, let me see if I can try and rectify this. I know this seems like such a pedantic thing to do, but given the circumstances, i.e. given that we are going to be doing so much, so much resource 
movement from one side of the map to the other side of the map, it frankly doesn't make sense. Frankly, doesn't make sense for us to leave. To leave it in this condition. Uh, yeah. Okay, try again. Overlaps with the existing construction. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. That's cool. That's cool there. Great. So that's going to be top speed. Let's get a brand new... A brand new bespoke road. Okay, that is apparently the point we need to do it from. Right there. Right there. Can we bridge this? I, d I mean... This seems a bit messy, but... I think this is a little bit more direct. I also don't think a bridge is, is at all necessary here. I think if I was able to figure out how one-way road worked uh, a little bit better than, I, than I'm than i able to, then a bridge would be totally totally unnecessary. However, you know me, folks. I love a big janky bridge. I love a big janky bridge. You can't go wrong. No, that's not true. You can definitely go wrong with a big janky bridge. However, I just love building them. I love building them. They're so good. Hey, look at this. Look at this. And sometimes they do actually work. <laughs> sometimes. Very, very rarely. Okay, so that is basically... That is basically as direct a connection as you can possibly get from... From the area of, of Industry Grad to the area of the palace. It's pretty much as good as it gets. Pretty much as good as it gets. Should I make it a one-way road? I feel like maybe I should. I also feel like maybe I should just refresh. I should just refresh all of the traffic by... By telling the video game, hey, pause the construction and then restart it. But if I pause the construction and then restart it, then I lose a whole bunch of resources. Yeah, it would be real nice to not have all of these... All of these buses held up by all this construction traffic. Although, in saying that, look at that. Look at that. We got a couple of... We got a couple of trucks that are... That are moving out of here. And they seem to be taking my brand new highway. Which is real good. It's something, at least. It's something. Traffic is moving. Traffic is definitely moving. Also, I should have had a little look at... Uh, well, the br janky bridge. The janky bridge is actually doing fine. The janky bridge needs to be split into more sections. I know that the janky bridge needs to be split into more sections. I just don't want to deal with it. Right, so let's see if you do exactly what I think you're going to do. I hope you are. So you have just delivered... You have just delivered processed coal to the steel mill, and now you are heading back. Heading back for another load of coal at Kolgradsky. Totally fine. And if I'm... If I'm... If I'm correct, you're going to take this little turn off over here. In fact, to be honest, I should just disconnect. I should just disconnect this turn off entirely. Like, I should just remove this bit of... This bit of connection. However, it's... I don't even need to remove it. I don't even need to remove it. I don't even need to remove it. You just go... You just go there directly. And that is exactly why... That is exactly why this is great. That's exactly why this is great. Where are you held up? You're held up over here. 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 And that is because... You don't have power! Oh, jeez Louise. You love to see it. Right, so where do you get your power from? You get your power from here. So presumably you don't have any power. Great. What did I do now? What did I do now? I, oh, I just... I disconnected this. this is, oh, it's, I'm my own worst enemy, folks. I'm literally my own worst enemy. Literally my own worst enemy. I knew I was forgetting the power cable. I knew I was forgetting a power cable. Was it the most important power cable in the entirety of the map? I, yeah, kind of. If it, if it gave us these chronic delays. But you know what the good news is now? The good news is, is that now we no longer have to wait... You know, now we no longer have to wait on these other uh, these other trains moving, uh, these moving ahead in order to, for us to fill up with coal. Look at this, you're cruising right past, Mister Mister Coal Train, and that looks good. That looks real good. That looks really really good. I'm pretty happy with that. Right, are we filling up with uh, with coal on these two on these two trains? I think we are. That's great. Look, you're about to come across the brand new bridge. Because of course you're going to come across the brand new bridge. Because it's way quicker for you to actually get to your location. 
So that's kind of what we've done here. We've sped up the time that it takes for the coal trains to access the coal area. We've sped up the time that it takes for the iron trains to access the iron area. And everyone, as far as I'm concerned, is a winner. Which is, which is really, really nice. It's worked really, really well. We've reduced the traffic on the rails, which is great. Really, really nice indeed. And everyone has benefited from it. Very, very cool indeed. Very, very, very cool indeed. Uh, there is a slight problem, which I have not considered thus far. And that is the, and that is the problem of filling up. That is the problem of filling up at a fuel stop. Uh, and I think, to be honest, we need to put in a brand new one. I know this is like a solid example as why electric trains are the way forward. I get it. I get it. I get it. But you know what? We're going to still stick with diesel because I've just built a Kestrel and the Kestrel can go super duper fast. And therefore, I want to I wanna make sure that I'm utilizing them. Right. Give me a diesel station. Yeah, just, just, just fine. Just auto build. I don't care. Totally great. Yep. Yeah. Okay. And take this back a little bit further, I guess. Take this back further. Take this back further. Right. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully this isn't going to cause too much of a problem for everyone. Right. We're going to run right over to Bridgegrad right over here. And we're going to say, you, you need to add a new connection. Add a new connection right to here. And you're going to unload fuel at 90%. And we're presumably going to see a truck immediately dispatched. Maybe, no, actually, probably just one. Because the capacity of these Maz trucks is, is frankly ludicrous. Ludicrous indeed. Uh, we need to get a power supply over here as well, which is oh, it's just a bit of a bit of a pain in the backside, isn't it? It's just a bit of a pain in the backside. But no matter, we will do that. We will run a power supply from, what, well, like here, I guess? Run a power supply from here. Medium voltage switch. Right in yonder. Right in there. Right in there. And... Right in there. 47 grand. A worthwhile investment if ever I did indeed see one. We've now got the ability to power this diesel station, which is great. It should mean that all trains on this route now get power. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. The iron train. The iron train is coming back right now. That's real good. Looking looking fine. Still a reasonably a reasonably large load here, but but uh, but that's that's kind of by the by. That's a different that's a different problem. One that I'm not overly bothered about solving. Uh, we've disconnected that. We haven't disconnected this section of track up here, have we? No, we have not. However, I do want to disconnect this just to make sure that the iron trains have absolutely no way of getting into this iron complex through another through another route. Because if they do, then that presents with it uh, a whole slew of different problems. Right. Okay. This is looking real good. Let's get a Kestrel. Let's get a Kestrel. Let's get a couple of wagons attached to that Kestrel. We're just going to be rolling with the hopper cars. Yep, it seems almost it seems almost a shame to give such a lovely looking train uh, a bunch of, of crummy hopper cars, but that's fine. Right, what are we going to collect? We're going to collect, I think we're going to collect coal. I think we're going to collect coal. We're going to collect coal right over here. Wait until loaded. Coal, absolutely. And then we are going to come right the way back across to our steel mill. And we're going to give that a shot. Operating without issues at the moment, the steel mill is. It's a very funny way of saying it. But there we are. Right. Let's uh, let's see your roll. Let's see your roll out of this depot here. Look at this. Look at this beauty. Oh, my goodness. What a wonderful modded train. I very, very much like the look of that, actually. That is... Uh, that's looking real fancy. That's looking real fancy. Where are you going to fill up, actually? I didn't... Uh, didn't really think about that, but it'll probably be at our brand new filling up point. Right, are you going to be able to get up to the max speed of 150 kilometers an hour on this on this section of rail? I think this is actually already concreted rail, so you may very well be able to do that. And in fact, you're immediately able to do that up to up to 150 right away. Uh, you're probably going to be brought down to a lower speed, yeah, down here, because this is all 
this is all regular wooden rails, which is a bit of a bummer, but, you know, we get this upgraded, etc., etc. It'll be fine. What's the top speed? 70 kilometers an hour. Wow, that is a huge difference. I thought it was 90, to be honest. I didn't realize that it was as big as it actually was. Right, let me see if I can try and get this... Building is in the way. Crossing not allowed. I'm not crossing anything. What are you talking about, video game? Right. Oh, you don't like that. You don't like that at all. Okay, I'm going to try and get this section of track upgraded as much as we reasonably can. I mean, I'm not super pernickety about it. But I'm just sort of thinking, you know, it would be great if... It'd be great if all of the trains could go close to their top speed on the way back. The way there as well is is another another area where I would allow them to get up to top speed. I say allow them. I want them to be going as fast as they possibly can at all times. If everyone is going super fast, then then that just works. That just works better for everyone. Okay. Yeah, and this is the problem. This is the problem with using you know the classic the classic wooden tracks. Yeah, okay, let's give that a shot. So that's gonna be rolled out right now. Excellent. And that should actually allow immediately, yeah, immediately gives the Kestrel uh, a speed boost, which is which is kind of great. Ah, it's already upgraded to uh, to the top level. That's why it's already concreted rail. Okay, cool. Just get that upgraded too. That upgraded too. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent indeed. Cool. Very, very cool indeed. You're going to fill up with fuel right up to right up to your max, and then you're going to head off to the coal pickup point, which is very, very cool indeed. Yeah, look at this. Look at this measly, measly 70 kilometers an hour top speed. I think I want to get this track upgraded as well. Not necessarily all of it, as I say, but just, just a good chunk of it. There we go. Oh, see, this is the, this is the downside of upgrading track whilst trains are actually still running on it no doubt you will run into the occasional problem where trains magically turn around right so that seems like a good amount to upgrade yeah okay let's see if we can try and set this up what's up you managed to find your way magic eh? mad total magic how did you do it we'll never know Right, keep it coming all the way back. All the way back, all the way back. Right to there, right to there. It's kind of irritating that you have to do it in sections, and it's kind of irritating that uh, the game lags out tremendously whenever you whenever you try and upgrade a bit of track that a train is currently running across. But that's neither here nor there, you know? That's, that's just, it just is what it is. Right. How have I still got 6 million rubles? Please, somebody answer me this, this this pressing question. I don't understand. I do not understand how I am doing so well. I do not understand at all how I'm doing so well. This just doesn't make sense. My mind cannot compute this, this mathematical equation. Okay. Lovely. Okay. And so, after this point, pretty much all of the track... I think is is concretified. Yeah, so that's that's actually really really good. That's actually really impressive. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh you are What the heck? Why are you stopping here? There is no reason. Vehicle production line. Uh there is a fire truck very very close by right down the road. Yeah, um, just going back to just going back to this issue that we had over here, or that we have over here, I should say. Why are you not able to get to this area? What? Yeah, why have you stopped? There's there's no trains. There's no trains on this on this track. There's no there's no connection. There was nothing in front of you. How very peculiar. All right, I don't think that's delayed anything, really, to any major degree, or even any minor degree. I don't even think anything has been delayed. Uh, but I just don't I just don't get it. Uh, I also need to replace these signals over here. I realized that I didn't replace them. 
There we go. So uh, so that's now an effective chain signal. That's cool. Oh, look at the speed of this Kestrel. Look at the speed of this Kestrel. 150 kilometers an hour the whole darned way now. Absolutely blisteringly fast. Look at that. It looks double the speed. It looks double the speed of that uh, of that DR Class 5. Goodness gracious me. Wow, it, it's actually so darn fast that you really can't keep up. It's, in fact, it's so fast that it's, it's in fact, nauseating at two times speed. Even at one times speed, this, this thing is, this thing is blistering. Holy cow. Yeah, we're literally doing 149 kilometers an hour the whole, uh, the whole way. And the only thing slowing us down, presumably, is the slowness of the other train. Which is capped at 100 kilometers an hour. Not because of the track, but because of the, uh, but because of the train. Well, I mean, I'm I'm impressed with that. I'm impressed with that. That's really really good. I mean, that that in and of itself is is going to be an improvement in the amount of coal that we're delivering, just because we've got one train which travels super fast. Uh, not to mention the fact that we've upgraded a whole bunch of track, which means that we can surpass 70 kilometers an hour pretty consistently for the first time ever, actually, on on any given track. I'm very very happy with that. Right? Has uh, has there been any improvement to the traffic situation? Any improvement to the traffic situation? Yes. Wow. A huge improvement to the traffic situation. What the heck happened? I guess that bridge did it. I guess that that bridge legitimately did it. Holy cow! Uh, holy cow! That was that was quite crazy. That was quite crazy indeed. Okay, eight hundred and forty-six seven tons of gravel left remaining. Under eight hundred and thirty-five now, and two hundred and two hundred and forty tons of asphalt. Okay, we've actually moved a fairly significant amount of asphalt over the course of this over the course of this episode. We're almost done with the with the installation of the prefabricated panels. And what are we relying on, really? It's just gravel. Just gravel, really, that we need. And we've got plenty of gravel. We've got plenty of gravel at that. It's just a case of getting, getting all of the trucks into the depot and getting all of the gravel picked up. You, however, didn't take any gravel. What the heck is up with that? Building is without a power supply. What? What? Was this one of my fault? Was was this one my fault? Was this one... Okay, first of all, you definitely have a power supply. But this one doesn't have a power supply? Has this one ever had a power supply? Video game. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Don't tell me that this has never had a power supply here. Are you... You having a giggle? Are you uh, are you actually having a giggle? Oh my! You telling me that this that this bit of infrastructure, which has been in place for three whole episodes now, has never had a power supply? Yeah, you couldn't make it up, really. You couldn't make it up. And if you did make it up. You'd make it sound a little bit more exciting than this, you know? Alright, so now we've got a power supply. But this has a power supply. This does have a power supply. This definitely has a power supply. So, where is it getting a power supply? It's Okay, that also apparently did not have a power supply. But this also has a power supply. Did this not have a power supply? Did we not have a power supply for a while? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. But now we've got, you know, now we've got double... Now we've got double gravel delivering capacity, which is great. Still confuses me tremendously as to why we never had a power supply over there. But that's that should be fixed now. Okay, what do we got going on here? A food factory fire at, uh, at Grainski. There should be no issues getting a fire truck over there. Got a fire truck over here. Fire truck over... Uh, or two actually arriving right now. Yeah. I suspect that we will be completely, completely fine over there. That's great. That is great. I tell you what, this whole this whole situation is great. It really, really is good. Uh, this... There was a way to say this looks like a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a... A little bit of a line up there. A little bit of a, a little bit of a track conflict. But that seems to have rectified itself. So that is... That is really good. There's no other track to build, I don't think. There's no other track to build. We are all good on the track front. The fire has indeed been put out, which is very, very good. We've now got a couple of a couple of trucks waiting over here. Now this building is without a power supply. Oh, video game. 
how did I mess this up so badly? How how did I mess this up so badly? I didn't I didn't mean to. I didn't mean for this to happen. It never it never should have got this far. It never should have got this far, and here we are sitting, you know, twenty thousand episodes into this series, and I still have I still have issues like this. Okay, look. There we go. Build that all. Problem solved. Problem immediately solved. Everyone is uh, is very fuel hungry, but that's okay. Oh goodness gracious me! Right, so it turns out that all of the problems, as ever, were my own making. However, I have fixed some of my own problems, and I think now I have probably created more problems for me in the future, which is frankly exactly exactly the way that I like it. Right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching this here. Fantastic, wonderful resources and workers Soviet Republic game. That's right. Did I, is this connected? This is connected. Okay, thank goodness. I thought I was about to go crazy at the game again. Or crazy at myself again, as, I, as, I, uh, as I'm as I more likely the, the point of failure here. Uh, anyway, yes, ladies and gents, thanks thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks, as ever, to the fantastic Obra Potato Incorporated Patreon supporters. Also, also thanks to, uh, to Banana Nanana and C-Senpai for being the two twenty-five dollars plus tier patrons. Code word for today is the money is rolling in. That's right. I need I need positive vibes because of how well I'm doing. So please congratulate me for all of the money that I seem to be acquiring through potentially illicit means uh, in the comments down below. Your support as ever, your feedback as ever is greatly appreciated and, uh, and I love to hear it. So drop me a comment uh, down in the comments section. Folks, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.